Hello everyone, it's Libby here with Biomass.com. I'd like to take some time to discuss the huge news that came out yesterday regarding CCP games. It was announced that Pearl Abyss, creators of the extremely popular MMORPG Black Desert Online, is to acquire CCP games on October 12th. This deal is going through for a whopping $425 million and comes with the understanding that CCP Games will be allowed to continue operating its Reykjavik, London, and Shanghai locations independently. Both CEO Hilmar of CCP Games and Robin Hyung of Pearl Abyss expressed their excitement for the deal and optimistic outlook on the future. Hilmar goes on to saying in a blog post, I have been seriously impressed with what Pearl Abyss has achieved ever since I first visited their website for Black Desert Online and subsequently became an avid player of the game. He continues with, Pearl Abyss is a fast-growing company with lots to offer in terms of technology, capability, and vision. I believe our two companies have a lot to learn from each other. We are excited to join forces with them and achieve great new heights for our companies, our games, and above all, our players. Chairman of CCP also commented, As lead investor of CCP for over 13 years, alongside General Catalyst in NEA, we've seen CCP go from being a few dozen people strong to employing hundreds all over the world, with an ever-increasing customer base and multiple titles. CEO Hilmar and his dedicated team have built a company that Novator and its partners are proud to hand over to Pearl Abyss, and we wish them the best of luck in their future ventures. As anyone would have expected, the EVE community was, to put it lightly, lukewarm. Concerns about CCP favoring monetization with EVE and upcoming games such as Project Nova ranked at the top of the list, followed by concerns of possible change to the culture of EVE Online. For some, it was the unsettling fear of not knowing what was to come, and for some, it was considered selling out. In addressing the Dust Veterans Discord chat today, CCP Rotati, lead developer for Project Nova, said that Both CCP and Pearl Abyss share a common story. He says, By making a cool MMO that became bigger than they anticipated. Regarding the heated topic of monetization, he continued, Monetization is completely different in Asia, and even Russia, referring to Warface. I am fairly sure both companies know by now that one does not work well with the other. In regards to the word cash shop being tossed around the subreddit, he responds, That's obviously never going to happen. Everything is grindable, tradable, earnable, somehow. It's more or less the DNA of CCP. He continued to explain that it's likely Pearl Abyss was interested in acquiring CCP because they wanted to learn from and utilize CCP's past successes in developing free-to-play games with monetization models that appeal more to Western audiences instead of pay-to-win models that typically are found in Asian games. CCP Rattani also commented on the concern regarding the misunderstanding of the makeup of CCP games. He explains that CCP was owned 90% by investors and always has been. No one is selling out because the shares being sold to Pearl Abyss never belonged to CCP management, but instead investors and investment firms. He says it's an investor selling shares to another investor. Since all we've received thus far is a press conference and an interview with the two company CEOs, we're really left to wonder, will anything actually change? What we don't know for sure is how much influence Pearl Abyss will ultimately have long term on CCP game development and EVE Online. For now, we're told there's no impact and that EVE Online will continue to be the game it's always been. What we do know is that Project Nova will not be delayed because of the acquisition. CCP Game Studio will continue to operate as they have independent from Pearl Abyss, and no layoffs or restructuring of CCP is being discussed. So it's best to wait and see what this new move from CCP will bring. Ultimately, only time will tell, but here's hoping for the best for both companies. If you like this video, please give us a like. We appreciate all your feedback and support. If you don't want to miss a video, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new uploads. And to catch up on the latest blog posts and news, please visit Biomass.com.